Why should you as a service provider pick Comdivision as your white label host for your upcoming three-year commitment? First and foremost, let's look at support. When we look at the um, Broadcom contract, it very clearly says for level one and level two, the uplift host provider needs to provide level one and level two support, which includes uh, troubleshooting, knowledge base analysis, log analysis, and a lot of other things, which we have been doing for many of the service providers for many years, by the way, also for a lot of them who are currently on the white label list. So I'm not sure how they are going to run that in the future, but we are still going to support some of them. So. That's one of the tasks. Um, the secondary scenario is how you run um, 724 operations or 724 support. We in Comdivision have uh, different geolocations. So we have our US operations, which has uh, people in the US, with, including one BCDX, which can actually provide um, services for the US in the US time zones. We have our primary team in EMEA with multiple BCDXs and also a lot of experience around the cloud provider stack. And then we have our Asia PEC team together with end-to-end -end architecture and our Middle East team, which will cover the remaining time zones. So we can truly provide 724 Follow the Sun support all around the globe and all around the time zones and make sure that you can actually utilize that whenever you need it. So it's much more than just um, a phone number you can reach. Um, the secondary topic is usage meter and customer data. We covered that quite a bit. The upstream service provider has to report the end customer data using usage meter, which he needs to configure. This is how it's defined in the contract. This is how it's going to be managed. And therefore, there is no real discussion about how this is going to be handled. So that needs to be done by the upstream provider. And you should really, really be careful who you are giving your data to. We in Comdivision have been working for other integrator system um, or service provider for over 20 years. We have a very good track record here. We are not really in the core commercial space. We have a handful of customers in that space, which we deal with for over 15 years, but that customer base is not growing. Our customer base is growing in the service provider space, where we have um, over 100 service providers, which we are actively engaged with just in the last two years. And if we would be after their end customer data, we would actually be out of business already by now. The third area which we cover with Incom Division is our service in regards to events. We run the Challenge Days, which is a two days hands-on event, which we run um, basically every quarter in every geo. By now, we run the architecture think tank. The US dates are set for 2024 now. Um, it's going to be in the beginning of June in Austin, Texas. We are going to soon release the EMEA dates as well, and they are going to explain on what we are going to do over there. Um, that's basically a two days um, industry experts event where architects from all over the globe come together to discuss some of the most interesting um, scenarios on how to design all of that. Um, and the last part is um, we have been in this white label and um, white label discussion since November last year, uh, potentially without us and without us pushing, maybe there wouldn't be even a white label program at all. And um, we have been building up this program because for us, there is a very simplistic reason. We actually do the majority of our professional services in the service provider space. And based on that, we are actually in the position that we don't want to actually reduce that down to 500 service providers. We want to have um, 4,000 service providers, ideally. So this is why we continuously keep um, running this program and providing these types of services and why we are going to expand on these services. We also see our task in actually growing the service provider community and not shrinking it. Um, and that is our primary goal behind that. Would we have been able to participate in this program uh, without all of this? Yes, we would have um, had enough cores in each geo um, perfectly fine because our customers, our managed service customers, which we have for over 15 years, um, utilize enough cores, so that's not an issue at all for anybody. So we are, would be covered from that perspective. If you have any further questions on why you should go with Comdivision, then uh, feel free to put them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them. Also, what I wanted to break out is all our service providers are already in the onboarding phase. So we are already resetting usage meters, setting them up um, in newly fashions um, because we can get started on those parts because we have the contracts and everything in place. So if you want to be secure that you are really running under valid licenses with full support, then you should better actually be sure that you sign up with us um, uh, before anyone really questions where you are.
So, and last but not least, because someone asked us like, where does all this background come from? It's very simple because I'm currently with my family um, on a holiday vacation, which was long planned since last year. We didn't know that Broadcom is going to put this in our way, but nevertheless, I'm going to be here for our service providers. We are supporting our community. And um, now that I completed this video, I'm going to go back and actually work on the sand castles with my kids. And um, But still, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I will get back to them as soon as I can. Hope to see you again soon on one of our events and hope you make the right decision when it comes down to right living hosting.